of the connection. This is our first step into the future. Welcome to the future. Okay, um, basically, this is where a, co a naturally cooperative society emerges. Now, why do I say naturally cooperative? Because if, if we don't evolve ourselves philosophically and psychologically by learning our responsibility and our limits through number four, we, we remain in that level and we try to fake cooperation. We just go, oh yes, uh -huh. it's so nice to work with you. When you quietly resent the person or you sit down and you hold hands and you sing Kumbaya and you just try, but you can't help but like feel competitive with that guy over because it makes you so mad. Well, generally that's by not feeling comfortable in your own skin. We are now moving to the other side of our arc where we'll have the r more mature, resolved version of the things that we've developed before. Being that number three is the immature emergence of the ego structure, we go through number four as the learning of the realm of cause and effect and emerge on number five as the mature version of the ego structure. Well, the mature version of the ego structure is genius. When you are, when you are a genius in one area and, and you have something that you can tap into that makes you feel spiritually connected, or makes you feel, you know, just like intellectually stimulated, you feel comfortable in your own skin. And in that way, you can stride the earth just with a sureness that, uh, that the, the competitions and the jealousies usually come out of an insecurity. In a, in a way that I mean like, okay, say we're all geniuses, uh, but, but we're painters. Well, it doesn't matter if you have a room full of a hundred people, Everybody will paint something different. Everybody will paint something brilliant. And if anything, you'll want to help each other. You'll want to, oh, you can do this? Okay, well, yeah, do, add this level. Oh, I can do this? Well, I'll add that to you. Yeah, okay, cool, because you're just trying to help each other get their unique vision out. And that's what the process of creation of this whole project in a certain way has been. Started out and feet firmly on the ground of number four, making the decision to want to go toward creativity, and then working with everybody to try to... Uh, Abs to um, augment each other's uh, ge particular geniuses. Uh, Cheezer can do something that I can't do. John can do something that I can do. I can do something they can't do. So it all together, everybody's helping not because they think that I'm a cool guy or because I'm paying them a ton of money. Uh, they're all working late hours when they have to get up at six in the morning the next day because they think the idea, something higher than that ego structure, is important. And that is how this culture will become cooperative. If we're all hack artists and you have a room full of 100 people, there's going to be one corporate logo that we all have to paint and we have to compete against each other in a cutthroat environment to see who can do it best and someone else determines what best means. In a society of geniuses, you determine it because you're, like I said, opening that up more and letting the universe flow through you. This um, emerges also in the realm of painting what we now are doing as psychological landscapes. We didn't want to do these corny sort of predictions of what the future might look like. So painting more ideas or feelings than anything else. So this represents connection, an interconnection, a connection with yourself, and a, therefore ability to use that connection with yourself to create a connection with your society. So in order to develop your genius, you first just have to want to. You just have to straight up have that want. Of like, I'm going to reach for something higher. In order to do that, you realize quickly that you have to connect with yourself. So the reason that this body has a mirrored surface as the face and the head is because as you approach the canvas, you see yourself reaching out to yourself as the viewer. Once you make that connection and firmly grasp hold of yourself and learn through practice in the crucible of number four how to go inward. You know what I mean? Like, in number four, we've learned so much about the world, the, the, the domination and the, and the very thing that made us want to expand our empire in number three and break things down in number four and get technology that interconnects everything has led us to, oh, there's nothing left to really figure out. We've decoded the human genome. Cool. Well, the only world left to explore is inner space. You know what I mean? So it makes you have to start to get more contemplative and, and inward. Once you make that connection and start to become a genius in that area, you can really start to finally connect with another person because you can actually get honest. You don't have to wear your social style and be like, hey baby, you know, and, and, and talk in a way that you think you're going to gain acceptance. You know who you are. You accept who you are. You are talking to a person that knows who they are and accepts who they are. So you can be honest and share what a wonderfully weird 
interesting thing it is to be a human being on this planet and, and have a romantic destiny. As we go to this side of the arc, we start to have the universe as, as the wind in our sails. It, 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 we're going finally toward a union with the, what the universe is naturally up to, cooperation, holism, um, expansion. So the left side of the arc, as we start to go into the future, things are going to happen ridiculously more rapidly than they did in the past. Technology, due to Moore's law saying that uh, information technology doubles itself every eight months, and that's just right now. That's just going to expand and expand and expand and build upon itself more and more and more until there's an event horizon where, you know, technology is just going to go off the charts. If we can combine that with a metaphysical, spiritual, psychological, philosophic advancements on the same sort of level and be able to handle the technology that we're creating, society is going to get a lot of fun. So once you develop a relationship with another person on that level, utilizing all this technology, utilizing all this inward knowledge, then you can form partnerships in a cooperative way to be able to work to get up to the next level where everyone is a genius in every area and we restore Eden on Earth and actually become the stewards of our planet on a mature level. So let's head over there.